Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Spud Web. Spud Web is going to be interesting because he's obviously super athletic, but he's also only five foot seven. Doesn't look like he can really shoot the three ball very well either. So I'm a little worried this card might just suck, but uh, we're definitely gonna have to see how he's looking in game uh, and what he can do. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel. Uh, I upload every single day tons and tons of my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's take a look at spud web so you're looking at a 5-7 point guard like i said 89 offense 83 defense you look at the stats and they're interesting 86 driving layup 88 close shot 76 midi and a 63 ball so he's like super small and can't shoot but he's a 97 driving dunk uh 86 ball handle which is high enough to time burst he has 87 steel and then he has 96 speed speed on excel and an 87 lateral quickness defensively he's obviously not going to do anything but he is um or not not much anyway he has high steel high lateral quickness but he's really not going to do much defensively still because how small he is but he's super fast he dunks the ball super well which could make for at least an interesting card 18 golds are aerial wizard fast twitch fearless finisher posterizer space creator bailout handles for days killer combos needle threader special delivery unpluckable pogo stick precision dunker blow by physical handles and speed booster uh touch passer and triple strike as well silver break starter sorry silver slithery ankle breaker hyper drive and bunny and then bronze acrobat spin cycle and whistle you look at the card it doesn't really have anything shooting related it's a lot of good playmaking stuff some some finishing as well we're gonna see what his animations are looking like if he can hit wide open from three that's that'll be nice but like he's a five nine point guard i mean i don't know that release is kind of ugly too i'm not gonna lie it, i think it'll i think it's greenable but it's yeah it's definitely greenable but it's pretty ugly i'm not gonna lie i mean six three ball is high enough to green with actual decent consistency sometimes especially when you're in a groove but um his release is a little baited i mean if you're expecting to use spud web in any sort as a three hunter you're going to probably be disappointed but i will say his animations his size up and his between the legs his momentum size up and his momentum between the legs seem pretty fast which means he's going to actually move pretty well in the half court uh in terms of shot creation now not really going to be shot creating much from three like i said but a shot creation towards the rim for a dunk is definitely something that you can do a lot of with spud web 96 speed will help him to feel pretty quick um even at as small as he is but i do think he's not going to feel insanely fast because he's so short uh does look like he has really long arms though which is i guess kind of neat um i mean he's going to be a fun slashing point guard to use he is fast but defensively he's going to be too small to really be particularly effective and i don't think i trust this three-point race at least very much it's um kind of questionable i'm gonna be honest i'm slightly late on most of these though so i probably need to adjust a little bit as well because sl shooting slightly late isn't great i was greening pretty consistently at the beginning of freestyle but now i'm struggling but there's a green right there spud webs is gonna be fun and kind of weird but i just wish he could shoot a little better because that i mean he's a slashing pg who's 57 which is like kind of not actually a viable type of card at all but no card at 5.7 is really going to be viable. I was hoping he'd be a little bit or better all the way around offensively, but still excited to use him as a dunking small guard. So let's hop into a game. See what Spud Webb can do. All right, going up against Kenny Grease. Got Kyrie, Steve Smith, Glenn Robinson, Kevin McHale, Marc Gasol. Kevin McHale can't shoot threes at the four. His front court is not super fast. That is an interesting team. It's a solid team, but not an amazing squad by any means. We have a better all-around team than him, but I have Spud Webb at PG and he has Kyrie. That is a distinct advantage, Kyrie. But... We're still going to see what we can do with Spud Web. I'm not quite as confident with this card offensively as I was with Yuta, and I guess we did lose that Yuta gameplay too, but uh, I just don't know how much shot creation I can really do with him. 88 lateral quickness, move, stay in front of Kyrie. I mean, that's about as good as I could ask for in terms of attempting on the defensive end to stay in front and compete. Kyrie just gets one of the glitchy Kyrie pool play layup animations, and uh, when he gets those types of animations, he's just really, really tough to stop. Attack in the rim here, this is where you got to dunk the ball. He has to dunk the ball consistently. If he's getting taken out of dunk animations, getting a lot of layup stuff like that he is going to be completely useless on the offensive end of the court but hey he got up and dunked it there which is really really nice to see um able to get himself a bucket on the first possession of the game close out here road to move move straight up wall up yep beautiful as long as his spacing is poor we'll, we're, to, we're totally cool with that contest up contest good nice good defense board okay let's begin that in transition let's push the floor throw it up to a beat and then maybe he'll help off the hash he does catch and shoot spud web that's not a horrible look and i greened it let's go spud web knocking down the three ball big shot from my boy we will take that he's got five points start up the game able to hit with a 63 ball like i said lower three ball rating you can hit if you're open if you know your release time against spud web knocks that one down love to see that right there step up high get through the screen and we're just going to give up a wide open three 
I mean, he got through, actually got a little bit of a contest late, 16%. It's better than nothing, but Kyrie hits it anyway, so it is what it is. Uh, trying to attack the baseline here. He's just, I know it says 96 speed. It doesn't feel like 96 speed because he's so small, um, which makes it admittedly kind of hard to even beat a guy like Kyrie off the dribble dump down just to Embiid, Embiid with the easy layup, and we take ourselves a bucket, uh, a good assist right there, but... I'm just not able to like blow by Kyrie the way that I would be able to if it was a six two point guard with ninety two with ninety six speed or whatever it is there. Marcus all gets called for an illegal screen and we'll take it. He was probably gonna miss with Kyrie anyway there. Uh, and let's push the ball up the court and see what Spud can do. Give me another pick and pop here. Let's face the floor for Bosch and we got to get to the baseline here with Spud. Spud to the rim layup. Oh, he got taken out of the dunk animation. Which by the way, I was definitely gonna miss the stink dunk uh, because that's that green anime that green arrow or. The green area on that was really small for a stick dunk. Um, so that was probably not going to be green, but it worked out. Wow, I just got punched in the mouth by Kevin McHale on that screen. He literally curled over, Spud Webb did. Gives that up, and that's a good shot. Deep four pointer ties up the game, unfortunately. Spud Webb between the legs, burst in a downhill, dot in a corner. Great pass to Embiid for an open three. Great pass, great shot, good assist from Spud Webb, and he's got physicals takeover. If you can't run past Kyrie in a five out next possession, I don't know what to say, to be honest. I'm gonna need you to do it for me, please. Good, watch the slip, step up and rotate. Now we're gonna play low here, get through the screen, contest, and we'll play our slip, get back late. I'll live with that. That's good defense. There's a chance we get a stop. If we get a better animation there, could get a chase down block. That's the type of animation that we probably want to live with or the type of a shot that we want to live with giving up. And even though he's probably going to get two free throws out of it, it could be a lot worse. Going to leak out and transition here in case he misses the free throw. He doesn't. So Spud, come back and get the ball. Now we're going to go five out. Get some floor spacing, hopefully. And of course he goes zone. As soon as I'm going five out, he's going zone. That's... Uh, well, of course, how is it that the first possession I go five out this whole game is in his own, so I can't just rim run to the rim with Spud. I mean, I still want spacing, though, so it's fine. Um, dot that corner, attack, downhill, hit it to the hash, easy sh open shot, Embiid, let's go. Good ball movement, good shot. Playing against zones is not my favorite thing to do in a gameplay because it makes it a lot harder to use a specific player, but as a whole, it doesn't actually make it hard to score. I don't feel like I have any issues against zones. Embiid jumped at the perfect time. We will take that, and we're out in transition. Running the floor with Chris Bosh. Bosh over to Spud Webb. Pump fake. Thought I was going to have an open shot there. Sizing up uh, between the legs back to this way. Attack the rim. Spud Webb getting inside, and somebody's going to be open. Somebody is open on my hash. Kyrie. Sorry, Kawhi. Easy bucket as well. Seven and three for Spud Webb. He's able to get a little dribble, bit of dribble penetration. This dude I'm playing is not very good at running a zone. He's not really rotating. He's kind of just leaving stuff. So when the defense collapses, if I make the right read, it's a pretty easy pitch and catch for an open shot. Um, we're going to go pick and roll here, actually. Maybe just get the dump down into a, a no. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm, I got playmaking physicals take. I'm going to the rim. Would like to see him be able to finish that, but I'm still going to the rim there and attacking with confidence. Missing the first free throw, 75%. That's unfortunate. Let's make the second one, though, um, to retake a... Well, we missed both. Are you kidding? I was late on that? Wow, that's... Okay, that's cool. I was. Uh, that's not ideal, but we're up six. A minute left in the game. Let's pump fake and let's make a play here. Uh, attack here but between the legs. Get downhill. Attack. Spud Webb. Oh my gosh, that is what I wanted to see. Spud Webb contact dunk with the stick. Puts it down over Kyrie. Let's go. That's the highlight I was looking for. Contact dunk with a 5'7 guard is awesome. Awesome, that's so great. And we're looking out again in transition with him too, actually. Pump fake, no way I can do it again, right? There's just no way I could do it again, right? There's no way I could do it again. He's tired. Oh, he's hooping, oh my gosh. Yo, Spud Webb getting dangerous with the layup animation. Oh my goodness. Yo, he's a hooper as a slasher. Holy crap, that was two amazing animations. Number one, we got the stick dunk to go, but then we get that one as well. That was phenomenal. Um, step up on Glenn Robinson, good defense. Contest here, now rotate through, play that. We're back, good D. Let's go, Spud, getting the contest. Spud Webb exceeding expectations and setting himself up for an absolute masterpiece of a performance reset the ball and go back towards that baseline one more time go dunk on somebody spud let's go spud webb with a 13 point and three assist masterpiece is he a good card the answer is still no is he fun to use the answer is yes. That gameplay was fun. Six of six, one of one from three. That went about as well as I could have possibly imagined. Let's hop back into the main menu and let's review Spud Webb.
That was a really fun gameplay with Spud Webb. He played really, really well. I still don't think he's all that good of a card, but 13 points on six of six, made her only three, showed off some dunking, got a contact. I mean, that was fun, and he played well. He even got a, a couple stops, so I had I had fun, and I enjoyed using the Spud Webb card, and I hope y'all did enjoy the gameplay. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.